All right, we'll start off with uh, just a uh, blank file here, um, empty file, and we're going to do this in metric units. So I've used the default metric uh, template file. And all I'm going to do uh, to begin with is establish uh, a concrete wall that's three feet wide. So I'm going to start by, um, well, I'm not even going to draw a wall. I'm just going to go right down here to families. I'm going to go to walls. Um, on the family browser and I'm going to go to basic walls I'm going to just expand this a little bit here and let's look for something um, that would resemble um, you know generic 300 millimeter sounds good to me so I'm going to take that right click and I'm going to say duplicate so I'm going to duplicate that here it is here right click on there and then rename that so I'm going to rename that and call this um, 36 inch wide oops planter you know you don't have to say wall we know it's a wall 36 inch wide planter there's my new wall double click on that and then I can go into there and I can have a look at that and then say okay well let's edit that and oh it's not 36 inch wide what's it going to be we're going to say one meter that's I'm so used to using Imperial, so let's rename this. One meter uh, wide planter wall, and then hit edit inside of here, and inside of there, that's going to be a thousand units. And we're going to click on there, uh, where material is, and we're going to say concrete cast in situ. So we say good for that. And good. and good so now we have that wall and if we want to place it we can click on there and we can turn our properties palette on click on here one meter wide planter wall and we'll say unconnected height of a meter sounds good click click escape escape go to my 3d view there's my one meter wide um, concrete wall and if I do SD shaded mode looks like that and I don't see any concrete uh, surface pattern on there so under that uh, properties that material um, doesn't have a surface pattern so we could click on here and go down and change that to be concrete get a little better effect from that using our materials okay so you can again you can play with the height of that just by you know stretching this up or down or you know changing that unconnected height to be whatever you want here maybe only 900 millimeters instead okay and now what we're going to do is create a uh, profile that we will use to remove the material on the top of that wall so um, all we wanted to do was establish our new wall type here in the project file and we'll come back on our next lesson and create a new um, reveal family.